Good morning. So um, as I was preparing throughout the week to, um, to lead communion, I had my mind set on one thing, and um, I was very focused on that one thing. And then my son said something to me this morning um, to completely change my mind. And this, I promise there's a point to this, and I'll get to it. But um, he, he looks at me, and we're cuddling in bed, and he's like, Daddy, did you know you have nose hairs? He's <laughs> like, I do? Yes, uh, that, thank you, that's fascinating. And then he started to ask me all kinds of questions about hair and where, the, where, does, where does the hair come from and why do you have that and so on and so forth. And that got me to thinking that there is this idea that God and Jesus ask us to be like children. In fact, God tells us to be like children of God and we are called children of God. And that is all through this whole idea of childlike wonder and awe and this longing to want to know more about everything. Um, and especially, um, especially in this case, the Lord's Supper and what God and Jesus has done for us. So I'm going to read a few verses uh, for us today. The first one comes from Matthew uh, chapter 18 and verses 2 and 4. Matthew chapter 18, verses 2 through 4. I've got to find it here. I've got a whole (laughs) list. So what it says in Matthew chapter 18, Jesus called a little child to come to him. He stood the child in front of the followers. Then he said, the truth is you must change your thinking and become like little children. If you do not do this, you will never enter God's kingdom. The greatest person in God's kingdom is the one who makes himself humble like this child. Then over in Matthew 19 and verses 13 and 14, he says very similar, uh, he gives you a very similar idea. Then the people brought their little children to Jesus so that he could lay his hands on them and bless them and pray for them. When his followers saw this, they told the people to stop bringing their children to him. But Jesus said, let the little children come to me. Don't stop them, because God's kingdom belongs to people who are like these children. So, as I said before, we're often referred to as uh, children of Jesus or or the children of God. In 1 John uh, 3, verses 1 through 3, The Bible says, The Father has loved us so much. This shows how much he loved us. We are called children of God. And we really are his children, but the people in the world don't understand that we are God's children because they have not known him. And that is also uh, referenced to in 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 14. We are God's children, and that is kind of the whole point of this Lord's Supper that we partake in. Uh, We are supposed to uh, remember and be in awe of what God and Jesus have done for us. The sacrifice that that Jesus gave for us. The fact that God gave us his son. Um, You know, Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. That allows us to be renewed so that we are not supposed to live the way we did before. We're supposed to change ourselves. And that is what we are here to do. So as we, as we pray, I, I pray that, uh, I, I hope, my prayer is for you, that you can focus on how God has changed us and how um, possibly we can be more like children and long for God and his, and his um, son and his, those sacrifices that they've given us. Let's pray. <clears throat> 